Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do a couple of things. Uh, we are going to model and texture a lemon and we're going to cut it in half. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start off by uh, loading a reference image. So we're going to hit our four plane here, go to our front view, view, image plane, import image. And I got something that looks like a lemon. There we go. Size is about good. We're going to start by creating a polygon cylinder. We're going to pull that out, hit 5 for shaded mode, hit E, and we're going to rotate it in this direction by 90 degrees. Let's just check that. 90, there we go. And now let's get that into size. So we're going to switch to our front view. Again, hit 5 for shaded mode. Click on our x-ray box. There we go. We're going to hit R. We're going to start to scale that out until we roughly got the shape in the middle. Then we're going to pull on this handle here. And now let's tweak this. Now this doesn't have to be exactly the same shape, but just as a reference, right? So now we're going to right click, go to vertex. We're going to drag select these vertices. And we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that out to about there. Then right click vertex, drag select these, bring them in. Select this row here, bring that in. We're going to go over here, we're going to right click vertex again, drag select that. Bring it all the way out, then drag select this row, bring that back, drag select that row, bring that back, select that section there, hit W, push that up a little bit, and now let's start to tweak it a bit. Right click vertex, drag select. Let's kind of pull that up, pull that up, we're getting pretty close, select that row, hit R, scale it out just a little, yeah, we're getting pretty close, okay, let's see what we got, okay, we're going to take a reference image, hit delete, now this looks a bit clunky, so we're going to select it, shift, right click, and smooth. That looks better. Okay. We're going to take that, we're going to hit W, pull that up, and pull that over, close to the center here. Okay. We're going to apply some material to that, so right click, assign new material, and Lambert. We're going to change the color to yellow. Select our object, go to your polygons menu, window, rendering editors, go to your hypershade. We're going to middle click drag our yellow Lambert down here. And we're going to select a fractal, this one right there. And we're going to middle mouse click and drag and hold it on top of the yellow one. Release your middle mouse button and go down to bump map. All right. We're going to minimize this one. We're going to go to our render, select the viewport. And if you don't have that high quality, We'll give that a sec. Should come up by now. Let's try it again. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll just uh, tweak the depth a bit and see if we get any response here. Should be able to see that. Let's try that once more. Oh, there we go, yeah. Okay, now this is a bit rough. 
So we're going to bring that down a bit. So we're going to take that bump dip down. Let's try 0 0.068. That looks about right. OK, cool. So next, we're going to create a ground plane. And we're just going to drag that out. Not too important. Hit R, scale that out, and scale that out. Make sure our lemon is sitting on the floor there. OK. And now we are going to extract some faces. So we're going to switch to our front view. Hit F to zoom in. OK. Let's get zoomed in here. All right. We're going to click on our lemon. Right click face. Drag select half of your lemon or close to half. Let's say that part here, right? And then we're going to go up to Mesh, Extract, hit the Option box, Separate Extracted Faces, and hit Extract. All right? Then right click Object Mode, select that part, hit W, and move that out. This will give us two open shells here, all right? So select the first one, go up to Mesh, Fill Hole, select the second one, and hit G to repeat that. OK. So now let's apply some material to these surfaces. So right-click Face. We're going to select that face, right-click. Sign new material, Lambert. Hit the uh, color tab here, file. Click on the folder. And I got something called lemon slice, like so. We're going to open that. Now that's not correctly positioned, as you can see. Select that face again. Go up to Create UVs, and let's, uh, normally I do planar mapping, but let's give automatic mapping a go. Not too bad, but we need to tweak that a bit. Go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor. Just going to make that a bit bigger. There we go. Right-click UV, drag select. That gives us all our UVs. We're going to hit W. And let's see what we got going on here. OK, so we're going to move that out. Oh, hang on. We need to do something first. I'll just maximize that. Right click UV, drag select everything. Go up to, actually I can do that here. Uh, let's see. No, I cannot do that here. Sorry guys, just need to find out. Okay, so polygons and unfold. Then we are going to right click, go to select, select shell. And I just want this guy. Select shell. That's better. We'll move that out of the way. Select that guy. Right click, select, select shell. Move that one in. Now we're going to get this a bit smaller so we can see what's going on. We're going to hit R. And let's start to tweak that a little bit. Hit W. It's the wrong direction. It's not too bad. OK. All right, so we got that. Then we're going to go to this face. Right click face, select that face. Right click assign new material, Lambert. 
Uh, click on the color checker box here, file, hit our folder, lemon slice, there we go. Select your face, create UVs, uh, automatic mapping, there we go. We're going to go to our UV texture editor, zoom in a bit, right click UVs, drag select, hit W, move that out, sorry, I forgot again, drag select everything, just maximize that, polygons unfold, then right click select select shell so they're both out of the way and I'm gonna click on that guy select select shell try that again pull that back over there we go we're gonna make this a bit smaller we're gonna hit R we're gonna start to scale that Trying to get that positioned. Neatly. That's about right. Okay. So now we're going to take our two lemon pieces, right click object mode. We're going to pull them back together. And let's do that nice and clean. Like that. We are going to create some light, create light, point light. And we'll do one here. Hit seven on our keyboard so we can see what's going on. Control D to duplicate that. Put one over here and pull that up. And we'll create an ambient light. So create lights, ambient light. Push that back, pull it up a little bit. And bring that intensity way back to 0 0.1. Looks a bit better. We're going to check our shadows to make sure that we have ray trace shadows selected. There we go, and that looks fine. And okay, render settings, we'll do that in a sec, okay? Now next, we're gonna go to our dynamics menu. Yep, we're gonna select our floor, go to soft rigid bodies and create a passive rigid body. Then we're gonna select both parts of our lemon and we're gonna create an active rigid body. And we're gonna select both parts and go to fields and hit gravity. All right, let's give our animation, let's say 500 frames, like that. So now, if we hit play, we get this. As you can see, the UV is not 100% clean. So we can uh, tweak that if you want. But you get the point, okay? So that's a way to do this. I'll just uh, play this uh, a couple of times. And as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, it's the effect we went for. So hopefully you guys uh, like this quick tutorial. If you've got any questions, as always, just uh, let me know. And uh, see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.